Hello guys, um, I got another video for you. Um, <clears throat> this is something I seen at um, CES this year. Um, this is kind of a outdoor device here. Um, it's supposed to be aimed at uh, if you're outside and you're adventurous. Um, this is a pretty much um, human, uh, not human, but like leg exoskeleton. Um, I do have, I don't know, um, maybe some, some gripes of customer service on, on getting this ordered. Um, the biggest thing is I wanted to know if this was actually going to work and if it's, uh, something that I could try out. Um, it was really hard to get, uh, that information and when i did get the information it was real uh kind of sketchy kind of spotty um but again that's i guess nothing uh on the company maybe it's just the people answering um the thing but here's uh what it looks like here uh, looks like this goes around um your waist this goes around your legs and it's supposed to actually be able to um, take, I think, up to 40% um, off of the you lifting your legs. Um, <clears throat> it has a pretty big battery. I'm not sure of the specs of the battery. I'll probably put it uh, into uh, the video. Um, but these are the, the motors uh, that it has. I actually have a um, robot uh, dog that has similar motors. I think that's kind of the trend of, of these very strong motors uh, in small packages. But let's go ahead and get this unboxed. Um, the packaging is, is really nice for this. Um, this is definitely retail ready. Um, that's kind of neat. I didn't, didn't know that was their logo there. Okay. So, okay, interesting, and it, it has a foam case inside, so this is really nice packaging, and on top of the nice packaging, it's real thick packaging too, so they did not skimp on um, the packaging at, at all, so I do, I do like the quality of, of packaging um, that they've done. If you don't mind me, I'm just uh, getting some of these boxes out of the way. Okay. That should be good. All right. So we have this um, really nice uh, case. Now, I I do know that a lot of products that, that's coming out of uh, China. So this is a, a China... Um, company i mean they have a little bit of a presence here in the u.s to ship this was fairly quick um so they must have a distribution center somewhere in california um that comes off of the ships and they, they have it there waiting for orders and ces and, and a whole bunch of other events that they probably go to um but this is the clamshell um i want to note this is the exact same clam clamshell type uh casing that uh, my Unity robot came in, um, which it's also um, a China company. They have the same clips here. So I think this is kind of the, the packaging for you know, most China electronics now, uh, which is really good. Um, I, I like this because it makes it where it's carryable. Um, so when you open the box, you're greeted with uh, the batteries here I don't know of the charge It'd be nice if it had like a little button to show you the indication there's no charger indication on that battery um, so moisture won't be in there I think they're expecting to make a lot of these seems kind of like a wasted space here um, but you can put things there um, Let's see. So that's pretty much it. 
when you take this out, this is the uh, the device here. Um, interestingly enough, oops. Um, I thought these were going to be like elastic. Um, this has this is metal or some type of uh, strong stuff here. So yeah, you get this around your, your leg here, but I, I do like that material. Um, and of course, um, I think it also has a battery in here already. Um, so it looks like you can take two batteries. I thought from the commercials and things that um, it had two batteries that went on the side here. That is not the case. But you can hear this is this is actually this actually is some sturdy metal right there. Okay, these holes line up and it just kind of clips in there. I mean, I guess that won't fall out. Has enough padding, so it won't hurt you. Um, you know, I'm just kind of checking this thing out full circle here because I'm really interested in this product. Hopefully, you know, it's something that I can I can use and it fits me. It's kind of the biggest thing. Um, of course, it comes with a USB cable. Looks like uh, I'm hoping that's USB C to USB C. It looks like it from the picture. And not proprietary, because I was gonna say that was a big miss. It's C to C, which is good. Um instruction manual and booklet. Um you got your warranty card, which I wanna say this is a year warranty you got your user manual here um and it's in english which is good so this is definitely geared towards the uh, uh english market and not so much i guess the china market nothing else hidden in these compartments um what I feel that's missing, um, at least from the CES um, you know, demos and things, is the carrying case. Um, this is supposed to have like a carrying case with it, but I guess this does not. Um, as you see, it fits back in here, I think, fine. But I guess not, because that did not work. Okay, so I'm guessing more like this. Ease of use to close this thing um, is not easy, because that's not closing. So um, maybe I figure out a way to close this, um, but it was not. As straightforward as I thought it should be. Hey, so, huh? This seems like it's definitely in the way. So, I'm gonna not take up the video of trying to figure out how to close this. Um, but check out some more videos with with me using this. I'm gonna use it, um, of course, to do some running, treadmill, biking. Uh, maybe some some outside things, maybe walking around with it to see if it actually eases um, um, kind of the the overall um, fatiguelessness of, of walking with, you know, both of your legs or legs combined uh, weighing 40 percent less. So in theory, it should feel like you're walking on on air if these motors are, are indeed kind of pulling your legs up. Um, but, um, I think until next time, I uh, expect a 
video uh, and hopefully um, I'll be able to show you how to close this case in the, the future. All right. Thank you.